Hey, what's up, Wink Sound? This is Kevin. In this video, I'm going to show you the basics of audio in Ableton. I'm going to show you how to set up your ins and outs, your routing, as well as hooking up an interface to record audio for external instruments. So check it out. So I got a couple audio tracks set up here. So the first thing you do is when you have your external device plugged in, go to your preferences, go to the audio tab, and select your input device. In this case, I have my Mbox plugged in USB. And then you go to your routing and your tracks. So we will use external in in this case. Uh, you have some other options as far as routing goes. You can route from other tracks or return tracks or no input. So use external in. And this particular inbox has two channels, so you can use channel one and two, just one or two. And as you can see, my signal there, um, my microphone is going into one, so I will use my audio from track from channel two. So then you use this button down here, the little record button, that will record and enable your track. And then we should be getting some signal. So let's tab over to the arrangement view. You also have some options as far as monitoring goes. Um, if you want to monitor through your inbox or whatever device you're using, you turn off. And then, as you can see, we can't hear anything coming through Ableton. Keep it on auto if you want to monitor it through Ableton. Um, so it can go through Ableton's effects and everything, but you, there might be a little latency there, so be careful. Um, so we have our track armed, and now let's arm the global record and turn on our metronome so we stay in time. And then we're ready to record. So I didn't like that, so I can Command Z, undo it, try it again. And that's the basic way to record any external instrument through an interface. You can always get in touch with Kevin at WinkSound.com as well as watch more of Kevin's videos including these titles featuring Ableton Live. Now available on demand at wingsound.com.